Washington Governor Jay Inslee is extending a modified version of the eviction moratorium. Our political reporter Casey Decker has been tracking this story and he is joining us now to explain exactly what this means for both renters and landlords. Casey? Well, Laura, it's been well over a year now since Inslee originally declared that tenants could not be evicted for not paying rent. That was, of course, a move to keep folks in their homes during the pandemic. With less than a full week to go now until full reopening, some were expecting that that moratorium would be lifted, but Inslee instead announcing it will be a gradual approach that will take several months. Basically, he doesn't want evictions to kick in until a few different things become available. One, until the hundreds of millions in state and federal dollars for rental assistance are actually able to be processed and then allocated. Two, until the state's eviction resolution program is available in every county, that's a system recently set up in Washington that would provide professional mediators to try to just work things out between landlords and tenants before any sort of eviction could actually be filed. And then three, until a law passed by the legislature this year kicks in, one that guarantees low-income tenants the right to a lawyer during eviction proceedings. Now, the idea is that by the end of September, all of that will be worked out, so he's signing this new bridge proclamation to carry us over until then. We hardly want to see a wave of homelessness follow the end of this moratorium on June 30th. We don't want to have success reopening our businesses and then see a wave of homelessness. So we think that was the goal. I believe we will achieve it. Now, there are some differences here when it comes to this version of the moratorium compared to the initial one. For instance, starting August 1st, renters will be expected to either start paying full rent, work out a partial payment with their landlord, or apply for rental assistance. If they don't do any of those things, even after being provided with a list of resources and offered a reasonable repayment plan, then they could be evicted. Also, the moratorium no longer covers hotels, motels, Airbnbs, and other non-traditional forms of housing. Now, obviously, this is a complex order that will have enormous impact across Washington. We don't have all of the details of it quite yet. When we do, of course, we'll be breaking them down for you and making sure that everyone understands exactly what this means for them. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Casey Decker, Crumb 2 News. Casey, thanks a lot. President Biden also announcing that he's extending the nationwide ban on eviction for 30 days. That is now set to expire coming up on July 31st.